Hello. Oops. I just dropped something on the floor. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Welcome to the stream, guys. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Uh, thank you for that lovely host, Linz and John Paranormal. Much love. Thank you so much for that. Um, guys, we are uh, we are in week three of our our Halloween Universal Monster stream. So we're going to be doing um, a couple drawings today. Uh, one is going to be uh, given away here on the channel. The other one is going to be used to support the channel. So we're going to be going, doing one first, I think, uh, to give away. I haven't really decided, you know, sometimes I like doing the, the giveaways in the middle of the stream, uh, not necessarily at the end. So, yeah, cool. So, um, okay, let me just make it. I'm just making sure I've got audio. I do have audio. You guys can hear me. We can hear the music. Yes, I, th I think we're I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Um, I was going to quickly just sharpen my pencil here for a sec. How are you guys tonight? I hope you guys are well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lens, did you just do a, uh, did you just do a hydrate command? Again, apparently that's not working for me. I don't know if you guys heard it. Um, I gotta make a visual thing for me for that because it's like, if I, at least if I can see it, I could, um, I can react to it, but um, okay, cheers. Uh, I will be uh, proof. Got some uh, liquid here. I'm gonna drink. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. Oh, hey, if you're just new to the channel, never been here before. What we uh, generally do is I draw something before your eyes uh, from start to finish. And uh, we do something called a giveaway, which is basically a wheel that I'll bring up. Uh, will it work? Yes, that's a wheel of names. Uh, basically, there's um, uh, many ways to get on that wheel. If you're here in the channel during the time of the giveaway, you get an automatic entry. Uh, of course, if you sub to the channel, you don't even have to be here to win. Um, and then I also have a Patreon as well, where you can get uh, more benefits there. Um, but that will be done after we do the drawing. Uh, gosh, got to get my hands all warmed up. Woo! Okay. Um, let's get to it, because time's a wasting, right? I mean, uh, we are going to be using the Pascata markers again today. I kind of paint pens, stuff like that. Um, my phone is going off. Let's close that. Oh my God. Sorry about this, guys. There, I'll stop that. It's going off like crazy. Apologies. All right. Let's try this again. <laughs> Okay, I did some um, some plotting out of like where I want things to be on the paper, because um, that's the thing I pr I think I struggle with the most is just uh, composition. Um, a lot of times I'll end up like drawing and redrawing, and just want to work out where everything is first. Whoa. Hey, much love on Twitch. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, I, if, you're, if you're a fan of Universal Monsters, you're in the right place. Uh, we're going to be doing some uh, some giveaways as well today. Somebody's going to be walking away with a, with, a, with a fresh drawing. Uh, let's see. Let's... is all right that oh you're on you're part of the koopa troop beautiful awesome welcome let me know if you stream i will uh i'll make sure to drop by your your channel if you do
Yeah, no problem, let's. Nice. I'll make sure to, to, to drop you a follow, my friend. Boots. Cool. What uh, what kind of stuff do you stream? always do is we'll start with the eyes is that usually a uh, best place to start I find anyway some people will start with you know just different parts but I, I generally like to start with the eyes Basically coming out over on this side again with another highlight. There's always like ridges under the eye. Usually, I mean, with the costumes and stuff like that, it was there was a mask, and so there'd be you know the regular human eyes, and then the holes, and then the uh, a little bit of extra stuff for the monster eyes, so to speak, right? Just loosely kind of getting what this is, okay. Couple eyes. Uh, again, we're gonna be quite loose with the drawing today. Um, we are gonna be using those paint uh, markers, right? So. And we are kind of working in reverse today as well because we are using black paper. The black of the paper is going to be the dark parts of the drawing. So we kind of kind of think of things, think of things backwards. <laughs> uh, I spent. I, I remember doing some window paintings uh, where you paint on windows. And it's kind of the same thing where you would um, you would have to put what's at the very top of the drawing or the, very, the highlights first, and then work your way back. It was it was like you had to work in layers. It was uh, you had to think think of things and like I guess if anybody's used Photoshop out there, it's kind of the same thing. You can have things in layers. Um, it's uh, you gotta you gotta kind of think of what, what's going to happen, right? So you put your highlights first, and then you put your color behind it. And normally in drawing, you would do it the opposite way, right? Okay. 
get the, uh, the lines going here. I mean, lines on this kind of. Is it a nose? I don't know. Is it a nose? Not really. Right, so So we gotta get loose. Kind of marked out where we want. We're gonna have a highlight at the top. Here. And probably a highlight on this side too. I don't know. Look at old white photographs is uh gotta get imagine the color. We we have been putting color in each one of the ones. Um, so I kind of want to continue that, kind of can make them look kind of similar. But it just means I do have to work a little extra faster than normal. This will have to work out. Okay, so. Hmm. It almost looks like he's smiling. <laughs> it's because of, the, of these, these high ridges on the... Uh, the mouth I think makes him look uh, maybe smiling makes it look a little bit more creepy These are the big gills, right? Big gills. And then, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, make it look like gills by making an outer edge, and then we're gonna break it up. Going up. Oh, thanks. Same thing on this side, right? It's almost like in stages. It feels like. Kind of like so, right? The gills. Who here has seen the creature from the Black Lagoon? A classic universal monster. start building this up a little bit. I'll take a couple greens. What else are we going to use? We're going to use maybe a blue. 
Um, maybe a yellow. Start with that. What do you guys think? Maybe a beige as well. Oh gosh, Linz did a stretch as well. <laughs> Let's love Linz. Let's um, let's get big to it. Big, big to it. All right. So, what the paint markers are? What I'm using basically is a Pascada Uni um, paint marker. They're used mainly for ceramics, stone. Um, you know, you can do it on bags. You can, basically, on any surface. It's water-based. It's a water-based paint. Um, so first thing first, I need to shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah. And what we're going to do is kind of put it on the base uh, back because we're working on black paper um, and we want to use color. We're going to we're going to throw on some we're going to use the black paper as our as our blacks of the drawing. And uh, I'm going to use the color. Kind of, I'm going to use my finger too just to blend things in a bit. So a bit like finger painting in a way. Right, yeah, we're just getting the, get some base base colors down. Really, you know, sketchy. We're not being too too concerned about detail right now at this point. Um, we just need a little bit more paint. Put that down. We use this for the uh, Frankenstein picture, Frankenstein's monster. All right, I'll just kind of show you what I'm what I'm thinking. Um, a little bit more. Color into it. Yeah, it just looks like scribbles, right? It just looks like scribbles.
Make sure these eyes are uh, the way we want them. Got these nice ridges in the forehead. Wrinkles, ridges. What would you call them? that mouth here and have the highlight kind of go up on the ridge of the lips I guess hey Julia things are well we're getting ready for a little bit of colder weather coming Next, next. 
next week will be uh, a little bit uh, a little bit more wet for us. We'll see. desired effect. Mm -hmm. Put some heavier shadows in here just to make it pop. And we've got some shadows under the lips too. Do.
want more green into this. Use a lighter green just to smooth out various different stuff that we want. A lot of times the, the lighter green and the darker green will go nicely together, mix in with a little bit of blue and white. We'll get the kind of final color that we want. lips. And grab an orange here. Some, uh, some kind of sunset highlights would be nice. Let's see what we do. Oh. <laughs> okay. So we got, I like this kind of sunset stuff that's happening on this side. So I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll kind of continue to that. What would it look like if I make the lips a different color?
likewise you do blue on the other side. Kind of interesting. And I also gotta do the teeth. Forget about the teeth. Let's um Put in darker shadows. starting to look like uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon that you possibly have seen. <laughs>
Emma, how you doing? Welcome. How's your uh, night been? Hey, Malpeasy. <laughs> Much love, dude. Sorry, my, my, those commands still aren't working, man. They're still not working. I don't know what's going on. I got to make them visual instead of audio because it's just not, the audio is not working. So I'll never, I'll never get to know. Uh, I, I am drinking though. Are you doing some shopping? Yeah, well, I'm getting the um, furnaces uh, checked out uh, tomorrow. <laughs> doing that kind of stuff. That time of year, right? Doing a Universal Monster, obviously. Uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. I don't know if anybody's seen that those movies. Considered a universal classic. drawing fish lips today. <laughs> it's funny, I was watching uh, Bob Easy play some basketball. <laughs> yesterday and uh he um he was reacting to the actual game and not the, the game he was playing and so i was getting real confused <laughs> he was watching the game on tv as well <laughs> probably do them in sunset colors but
Yeah, I've got pretty much all, all the monsters planned out for the month <laughs> already. Are you talking about Nosferatu? Okay, got that. I think I want to put more of a shadow here. to get the get it so you guys can see the whole thing i tend to draw off stream which is not good um all right let me Fish heads, fish heads. We got your fish heads here. So yeah, we are using kind of mixed medium with this kind of stuff. Adding a little bit more blue. It's kind of like this is this is an aquamarine, which makes sense. Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't we use the color aquamarine on the uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon? Oh my god! Sorry about that, guys. Give me one sec. Hello. guys all right the gills paper stop curling on me oh my gosh Put 
Mason. Little micro gills. Yeah, and I'm using pretty thick paper, too. Um, I know it's curling up a bit. It's basically because the, pa the paint is wet. Once it chills out, everything goes, goes all right. But, uh, in the interim, it's just a bit annoying to work with. That's why a lot of artists will sometimes tape down a picture. Um, also, it kind of gives them a nice uh, straight edge. They paint off the, you know, on top of the tape, and so when they take, remove the tape, it makes a nice edge on the picture. Gills. Coming out. Doing them kind of in sections, just because I think, yeah, it looks looks more like gills that way. A bit of groupings. A bit of white hits it. Dragon scales. I wonder if we can do that today.
neat how shadowing and highlights make it look 3D. Yeah, that's basically what um, kind of 3D is, right? Like it's a embossing is a bit of light and shadow. We'll go in. Now, if I do that, what happens? Push the paint around a bit. Are you going to read? I'm kind of. I'll have to go in and with it with the dark, I think. It's not going to work otherwise. Of a yellow highlight. Okay.
It looks like it's skin. Also want to have a little bit more work done on the scales here. I don't think they're at the stage that we want them yet. Um, maybe if we go in with a black. See what that looks like. Maybe if we put a highlight on the on the edge. side maybe we'll switch it switch it with uh, the yellow maybe Wait a second. There. Okay. 
All good. All right. Um, So what we're gonna do now is just refine it a little bit, maybe put in some cools. Um, this creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, we could put in some purples. Should go nicely as well. Oh yeah, Elizabeth, I, I encourage you to always keep drawing, for sure. Um, I mean, oftentimes you can just draw what's in front of you. You can even do like, just things like still life, you know, there's a bowl of fruit or something like that, or plant. Show the beauty that is in the world. As a sneak peek of what, what things are looking like.
Yeah, you could do a makeup stream. You putting on your Halloween makeup. <laughs> All right, so far so good. Yeah, yeah, we're doing the creature from the Black Lagoon today. <laughs> How you doing, Pablo? He's one of he's one of the classics, right? Do you have a, do you have a favorite um, Pablo favorite kind of universal monster? Tuna for dinner? Nice. Yeah, no, no fave in particular. Some of these classic movies were before my time, even. Oh, is it for rent? Is that what it is? Oh, okay. curving up on me, so I gotta pen it down. <laughs> ah. 
How you doing, honey girl? I, uh, I managed to see this film uh, in particular, it was a, in a kind of like a outside theater and it was done in 3D. So we were using 3D glasses. Um, it, had been, it was like a 3D presentation of the Creature of the Black Lagoon, which was really cool. Theater, um, oh gosh, what was it called? It's like a there's a stage that's in the kind of in the trees. Um, man, drawing a blank. I almost said Dream Theater. Dream Theater was a uh, a theater that did get shut down in uh, in Monterey. Um, this would be a favorite favorite theater of mine to go to. had like really cool stained glass and really neat lighting on the ceiling. But... Sad to see it go. Closer to the finished. You're okay? Aw. Run away. Missing, we're missing, we're missing like a little mohawk he's got. That's what we're missing. He's got like a, is it here? Got like a little, little thing. It's a uh, size the side of that with the yellow. And then we can do the other side with a bit of blue, black, going off the distance there. A little, little tiny, little fin on the top. Yeah, the bullet has a person's name on it and it will track them. I remember that show. I remember that. That was a long time ago. Didn't it also have like robot spiders or something like that in it? Or is, am I getting that confused with another film?
Look at her now. Is she? Something fishy, yeah. Something fishy indeed. Man, if I was Pabs right now, eating his duna, I'd be scared of that fish dude was real. <laughs> it's attracted to, to, to fishy smells, is that what it is? Sometimes there's col there's more color in things than you than you think of, right? Like, I mean, light is made up of colors. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't draw eyes that were gonna follow you. Though. I don't think that's that's. that's need a little bit of uh, red. Do we, do we want to put a little bit of red in the lips, or a little bit of scarlet? Scarlet lips? Let's see. Let's try that. Okay. Show, show everyone here how it's looking.
a fair bit of colors in here. Got a like a little bit of a do some darker, darker splotches, and we're trying to make it look like a bit of skin. Skin has imperfections in it, right? No matter what, if you're a monster or a human. Imperfections is what makes you human. When you cover it up with makeup. I guess that's why why makeup's used, right? It becomes more fantasy. <laughs> cool. All right. Let me look at. Uh... I'm wise. Doing good, doing good. Uh, we do need to put on kind of a background as well. Um, that is something that we need to consider what we're going to do. Uh, in the past, I've been using the uh, pastels, which I'll probably use again. Yeah, I'll find them. I don't know where they went. <laughs> Milky Way? Oh, does it? The colors remind you of the Milky Way. That's interesting. Are you seeing kind of like the speckles as kind of stars? Uh, I do have a little bit of speckles and stuff like that on the, um, the background and stuff like that. What we're going to do, I don't know what we... Should we do something where it's like in the water. We don't want it the same color as the guy. Let me see. So that's gonna be like very, very similar. So what we could do is the orange light maybe might be a good idea. Let's see. Hey, Danny. Welcome. Well, thanks, man. Okay, what do we want to do here? We want to... I wonder if... We have, it's like bubbles or something. What we can do, I think what should be kind of cool, is we could do bubbles. Should we do a couple bubbles? How am I going to do bubbles? Um, good question. <laughs> uh, let me see. I, I'm sorry, guys. I keep pushing the, the picture down too far. Uh, do I have it over here? No, I don't. Uh, it's annoying. Okay. I thought, okay, what I was looking for... We've been freehanding a lot of stuff, but... Circles are hard. Circles are, 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 are difficult. And I'm thinking, I want to put in a couple bubbles. So I've, I've got some round circles here that I can do. Um, so I'm thinking, 
just doing a couple circles. And of course I smudge it. Actually, it doesn't, actually it looks not bad. <laughs> sounds. Get a moment to dry. Sorry guys. So what we're doing is we're just making it look like he's underwater. coming up from above so maybe put a highlight on some of these Follower on Elsa's channel. Much love. Thank you for the thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you for joining the party. I do a mix of uh, art streams, gaming streams, and whatnot. Let me like take a look at this and see how that looks. Yeah, so now it looks like he's just in the water, right? Say hello, we'd like to get to know you. Follow is great, but interaction is better. <laughs> A lurk is nice, but uh, I don't stream for lurkers. That's not what I'm, I'm about. <laughs> I get it, I get it. All good. Welcome, welcome. All right, so, um, Oh, no worries, no worries. <laughs> okay, all right, let's, let's come out. I'm just letting that dry a little bit. Um, kind of want to have a little bit more of a path of bubbles here. Uh, 
managed to do that in uh, just, what is it? Just under two hours, well, approximately two hours. Yeah, I think we're at the two hour mark. Pretty happy with the turnout. We are gonna do a, a second drawing here as well in a second, but why don't we just give this drawing away? Give it to someone who's either in chat or someone who's uh, uh, on the wheel. What wheel am I talking about? I have a wheel of names here. Uh, wheel of names basically are, are all my Patreon supporters are on there at the various different levels, as well as anybody who's a sub to my channel, uh, whether it's on Twitch, Trovo, or DLive. If you are a paid sub, you get an automatic entry. However, that's not only the case. If anybody is in the chat and watching the channel, that means if you're on YouTube, if you're on you know, Twitch, Trovo, or DLive, uh, and in the chat, and you are willing to give me an address to, for me to be able to send this to you, uh, I will send you the physical drawing, the finished work, one of a kind piece of art, um, completely free. I pay for packaging, I pay for shipping, all that stuff. Um, and I, it's a, my, my big thank you for being in the channel and uh, supporting and whatnot. So um, if you are in the channel, would like to partake, uh, all you need to do is hit a one in chat and I will add you to the wheel. Everybody gets one entry. And uh, yeah, that's how we're gonna roll it. Um, uh, again, basically the basic rules are um, essentially just 18 years of age, willing to give me an address, and you have to claim the drawing within 36 hours. In other words, the way you do that is through my email or through my um, my Discord. All right, I got one from Julianne. Wow, it's everybody on DLive. <laughs> All right. All right, give me a sec. I need to pull up, I need to pull up the, the names. Do, 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 do. Put a little chat. Be able to grab it that way, I think. Yeah. All right. All right, give me a quick second. I will add the names. Grab the keyboard. All right. Uh, we got. Forgive me, guys. I'm slow. All right. <laughs> We got fuming, fuming, fuming. Right on. Right, we got uh, fuming. We've got we've got Danny G. Danny G. Perfect, perfect. Elizabeth as well is in chat. Lens a jump part normal. And we've got Emma UK twenty three on Twitch. And the honey girl. All right. Uh, Fumling, yes, I'm on Twitch, Trovo, and YouTube, uh, as well as DLive, all at the same time. <laughs> I am all my all my stuff is in my about section. All the links are all there, hundred um, percent. I'm currently trying to get to 500 subscribers on YouTube. Um, it's been a yo-yo match, <laughs> and then we've also got. Um, uh, Twitch as well is, I think, coming up to 200 now, which is nice. Here, I'll, 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 I'll grab the link for you. It's all in my about section, but I'll, uh, I'll grab it for you. That's my, that's my Twitch channel.
And then I've also got uh, my YouTube as well. It's just, again, just the name Elfsar. No worries. Uh, Lady Crusher, what's in? All right. There we go. All right. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna shuffle the deck. Um, I'm gonna do it five times. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Fives are special to me. Fives fives are my lucky number. <laughs> All right. Let's uh. Let's find out who's gonna win uh win the drawing, shall we? We're gonna do it elimination style, so it's Battle Royale. The last name on the list, on the wheel, is going to be the winner. All right. Best of luck to everybody. Oh, <laughs> hail the new follower on oh, viewing. Thank you for joining me on Twitch. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hail to you. <laughs> All right, let me... um. Me quickly, I want to put on. I want to put on a little bit, you know, different, different music for the um, for the giveaway. No, I don't want that. I want. All right, guys. Much love. Let's uh, let's start spinning the wheel. We're gonna count this down. Um. Uh, Best of luck to everyone. It only takes one name to win. Let's find out who's going to be the last name on the wheel. Our first elimination today is Comtech. Shout out to Comtech. A uh, sea buddy of mine on Sea of Thieves. We've got... Pablo Escanaba. Oh no, Comtech getting hit, <laughs> double whammy. Oh my gosh. Luck of the draw, my friend. All right, Comtech. Uh, the reason why you're seeing multiple names there is because uh, Comtech is a supporter on Patreon. You can see the list above of all the, uh, the Patreon supporters. These guys, are... keeping it going. I love it. You guys are awesome. Ooh, we got the first first one from Liz and John Paranormal. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Up for grabs. Oh my gosh, another double whammy. My goodness. You gotta say no whammies in chat. <laughs> oh, Lady Crusher! Lady Crusher! Uh, that's your final entry. Much love. Boy, oh boy. Lens got hit again. Let's spin it. Let's keep spinning it. We got, we got names to get through. We're going to get through it. Oh, it's Fat-Headed Noob. Fat-Headed Noob has been eliminated. Subscriber! One subscriber's been after a dragon for a while. <laughs> All right, Mystic Angel Christina. No whammies, no whammies. <laughs> We got Gamer Cam. Gamer Cam's getting removed. Comtech. Oh no. Also, too, guys. I uh, as of this morning, I did get my um, my envelopes, so I'm actually going to be sending out a huge batch of artwork. 
uh, in the next day or so. Emma UK 23. Uh, I've been I had to special order them, and man, it took forever for him to get here. MD Wit, big shout out to you. First elimination from Elizabeth Flood. Oh gosh, uh, Elizabeth, 1975 as well. Also, again, MD Wit. <laughs> Oops, knocked that over. Elizabeth again, my goodness. All right, let's keep spinning. Oh, last week's double winner was a UK 23. <laughs> Got Lindsay and John Paranormal. Oh my gosh. Oh, it just eked into Lindsay again. My goodness. Oh no, Daddy G. I'm so sorry, friend. Much love, though. Thank you for trying. You're watching on DLive. It's nothing but gambling. So it's like, I'm joking. <laughs> We're doing it. We're participating. <laughs> Elizabeth Flood. I'm sorry, friend. Emma UK. Mystic Angel Christina. All right, we're getting down to the Sweet 16. This is Sweet 16 corner. Oh, it was almost fumeling, but it ended up being Mystic Angel Christina. <laughs> Let's go. Let's spin the wheel. Eric Ken getting eliminated. Again, last week's winner, Emma UK23. Uh, Emma did uh, gift a drawing, but she kept one herself, which is totally cool. Oh, we got Lens. Lens got hit. Okay. We are in the final 12. We'll, we'll do a countdown at 10. Let's see. Mystic Angel. You can see how the, the, the spaces are getting wider as we count down. More chances that your name is going to be popped up. Uh, we're going to spin the wheel one more time. We'll see what the top 10 remaining names will be. Oh, we got Emma. Okay. Seems our final our final top ten are Julia Ann or Julia Ann, Julia Ann. <laughs> Mischievous Matt, MD Wit, uh, Elizabeth, Lindsay John Paranormal, Fumling, Emma UK twenty three, another one by Elizabeth, Honey Girl, and another one by Lindsay John Paranormal. Oh boy. Okay. Let's spin the wheel and find out. Oh, okay. One of Linz's na names has been removed. Okay. So now everyone's got a fair shot, except uh, 
Elizabeth has two chances to win. So let's let's keep spinning. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a fair fight, guys. It's going to be a fair fight. Everyone has an equal chance. A one in eight chance of winning. All right. Let's keep it going. Best of luck to everyone. Ah, uh, it is... Honey Girl has been eliminated. Much love, Honey Girl. Oh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth has been eliminated. Much love, Elizabeth. Oh, MD Wit. 60 has been eliminated. How appropriate it would have been if MD won. <laughs> it's underwater themed, get it? You know, Sea of Thieves. Okay, so our final five. Are Julia Ain, Mischievous Matt, Fumling, Emma UK23, and Linz and John Paranormal. Oh, it was not meant to be. Shoot. Okay, Linz. Linz unfortunately was eliminated. Okay, so now we got a four way. We got Julia Ain, Mischievous Matt, Fumling, and Emma UK23. You were thinking the same thing, honey girl? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, wow. Okay, Mischievous Matt got eliminated. All right, we've got two people who have won before and one person that's actually brand new to the channel. Let's spin it. Julia Ain, Julia Ain. Oh my gosh, got eliminated. Wow, okay, so here we go. We've got, wow, last week's winner, it happens to be this week's winner again. Holy cow, Emma. Did you buy that lottery ticket yet? Uh, Emma UK23 and Fumling. Let's spin the wheel. Oh! Emma! Emma got eliminated! Fumling, you... You need to buy a lottery ticket because my goodness, you just won uh, uh, on a wheel of names. Woo, Fumling, congratulations. You're probably like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> okay, so Fumling, um, I do have a Discord. Uh, what you should do is probably, you should probably uh, jump in there and, and if you don't use Discord, it's okay. Um, you can always send me an email as well. I have my email again in my about section on DLive. Um, I believe that's where you're where you're hailing from. Although you just joined on Twitch as well. So it should be there as well. So all you need to do is you gotta you gotta send me a message of DM saying that you claim the drawing. Uh, you gotta do that within 36 hours, so you might as well do it now. Um, thank you, thank you, Julia, for posting the, the Discord link. You do have Discord? Beautiful. Fumling, um, all you need to do is you need to give me an address. You don't need to give me your home address. You can make it a business. You can make it a friend. I don't need to know. I don't need to know. Um, I just need to be able to send this to you. So uh, claim the drawing, send it. If you're not comfortable giving your address, because some people aren't, and I totally respect that, you can always uh, ask for a high res di digital picture to be sent to you. So I can send it to you digitally as well. Uh, uh, and that way I would just need an email to send it to. Um, if, you can, if you're not willing to give an email or a or, or an address, I can't get you the drawing in any shape or form. <laughs> um, no, you, you can't claim it on Twitch. You have to claim it on Discord or my email. Uh, but yeah, you I mean, you can say that you want it from Twitch. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> So it's gonna be it's gotta be through through Discord and it's gotta be through um yeah, Roger? Okay, you got it. Beautiful. Awesome. Well ha, ha that I, I, it always gives me a smile when there's a brand new brand new winner too. Much love, much love. Alright, um I gotta update my list of winners. Uh 
Um, I believe I've, can I even do it as a command? If I do the list, will it actually pop? Yeah, it does pop up. Okay. There's no way I can. Uh, let me just record it. All right. What's the date today? It's the 19th. Holy cow. It's the 19th, and it was the uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. All right. And then uh, Fumling. There you go. How do you find my Discord? Uh, it's in my About section on every platform. I have it. Just hit the About section, and it's all there. Uh, it's all, all. It's under like, um, like socials. Should be right there. It'll have my Twitter. It'll have my email. It'll have my 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 Discord. It's all. It's all there. Yep. Perfect. Congratulations. All right. Let me um take off the wheel. Perfect. Yay! <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna take a drink. No. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you for uh, for following the channel. If you wouldn't mind uh, following the YouTube as well, that'd be amazing. All right. I had a big swig. We gotta do another drawing. Okay. Oh, has there been a bot posting on YouTube? Yeah, it happens. <laughs> um, the best thing to do uh, there is you just basically say hide from channel. They'll never actually see the channel again. The bot. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, should we make it a guessing game? Yeah, make them hit him. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let's see. Elf oh my gosh! MG, MG, much love. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate the diamond. Thank you so much. All right. Let's uh, let's get another drawn in, shall we? Uh, let's sharpen our pencil first. Oh no, my I just I, lo I lost my nib. I lost my nib. Hold on a second, I gotta clear it. It's all stuck in it. Don't you hate that when you sh use a sharpener and it gets it breaks off in into it? Uh, oh, I just made a mess. All right, we're gonna. It's gonna be added to the drawing. It'll be. It'll be. <laughs> I always make a mess. <laughs> okay, let me clear this. Can't clear it with it. Cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hate it when that, it happens all the time, right? That's a th that downside of pencil crowns. The, the reason why I use pencil crowns is because it shows up really well on the stream. Uh, yeah, but nothing wastes pencils more than breaking breaking off nibs. <laughs> okay, um, give me a sec. I need I need reference of what I'm gonna draw next. Oh yeah, I'm gonna play a guessing game. Who can guess what's gonna what's gonna what I'm, what I'm drawing next? 
Um, do you guys want me to go back to spooky music or keep this? Yeah, I've, I've been hearing stories about that uh, MD of that people's stickers have been disappearing. Uh, is it on mobile or PC that, that that's happening? Yeah. weird something wrong with uh d -Base then are you using um are you using like a chrome extension to get you more stickers yeah but we're talking about more than just the initial 20. i don't know every week every week there's something different that's broken <laughs> it's like it just I'm just so used to it now that like extension yeah yeah I mean there's also a thing of like stickers being deleted too like um, the, the, the 
person that made the sticker deletes them. Uh, that could be a, a case as well. The original creator of the sticker is no longer on DLive or has deactivated their channel. Um, we, it could be a number of things. Uh, or the sticker was removed from the server, right? Like, who knows? second just need to sharpen my pencil again okay also gonna take one more drink all right does anybody hazard a guess yet <laughs> First ever sticker, hey?
working out where everything is. I think let's lay down some uh, some colors, shall we? Let's maybe let's maybe try to figure out where our shadows are going to be first. Um, It's a uh, it's a universal monster. That's your big hint. Uh, we did do a mummy on the on the channel uh, last week. No, this is not a mummy. Ah, oh, Elizabeth nailed it. Yep, it is the Invisible Man. That's correct. Uh, yep, and Emma as well. Somebody mentioned last week, they said, it'd be really interesting if I tried to draw the Invisible Man. That got me kind of thinking, huh, that would be a challenge. Yeah, Hollow Man was a follow-up. Um, it was basically Invisible Man, pretty much. Remember that one starring Kevin Bacon? kind of a nod to the classic uh, original picture. It was a uh, pretty state-of-the-art special effects then. So it's, it is a, a bit of a challenge of how we do it. Um, I'm gonna have like these, I have, I basically have him so that he's in the process of unwrapping his bandages. That's kind of the way I'm, I'm tripping to do it. Um, Yes, it's D Live that didn't work. Yeah, 
it's delayed. Okay, let me fix it. Yeah, didn't save. It says it's gaming too, which is like ridiculous. All right, I, I've done it. I'll do it again. <laughs> thank you, MD, for letting me know. Um, thank you so much. Let me, uh, let me reset that. I don't know why it doesn't save sometimes. It's weird. Do -do. I'm also replacing the thumbnail because the thumbnail is also Warframe. I'll hit save again. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Are you guys able to see this? Let me uh, move the camera a bit. There. Tend I, I don't like drawing off stream for you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna have this kind of going up here like that. And then he's kind of like untying his bandages. It's kind of going off the edge of the paper, but that's okay. Um, all right. So, so how do we how, see how we do this? Are oh, you talking about these dice up here? Uh, yeah, it, it's it's. It's kind of a theme for the channel too. It's that we, we tend to roll the dice, we take chances, we try new things. We, we can't be afraid to try new new things. We do roll the dice. Um, I used to have something on the channel where it was uh, a, a challenge um, thing, but my OBS uh, didn't like me for it. <laughs> Who won my giveaway? The, the giveaway was uh, won by uh, Fumling. Brand new winner today. Yeah, we also had kind of an Adventures in Legends game where it was a challenge where uh, people would take, or Legends would take on uh, new and new challenges using dice. I want to eventually find a way to bring it back to the to the channel because um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I just my current computer can't handle it. <laughs> okay. Start, like normally we start with the, start with the eyes, but with the invisible man we can't exactly do that. So we're gonna start with the rims of the frames, the eyeglasses. <laughs> are you are you watching on a mobile device, Danny? Then.
Okay. Oh, on your iPhone. Nice. Okay. Hopefully you're able to see everything okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've heard of people doing that, uh, getting YouTube on the TV. Elsa, I hope Whoa. you like ice cream, because you got oh, one. Oh, thank you, Lynn's. Lynn's just cream me. start doing the whites right away it's gonna be pretty blasted but we gotta start I gotta stop with the pencil and uh, I pretty much need to get into actually putting some paint down so let's see how bright this is Ooh, that's bright <laughs> but we gotta do it right point is gonna be this probably edge of the nose So the story of the Invisible Man is that um, they would, it was like a, med a medicine or a, like an injection or something like that, right? That was something that was uh, in science, and but it ended up, they ended up going crazy as a result. here on some of the glasses. There are going to be shades, right? There are going to be shades, so we do have to keep them. Keep in mind there will be the darker than the rest of it. Last year we did a, a pumpkin. Uh, we streamed cutting a pumpkin. We did a, we did a dragon on the channel, and uh, it, I made a mess. <laughs> I made a I made a big mess. <laughs> um, that was we did it also during um, 
there was a, a Halloween event on D Live. Uh, no announcement of a Halloween event this year, though. Not yet, anyway. Maybe it's it's still being planned, or right now it's uh, the is the gambling event still on, or is it over? It was fun. It was fun. It was a, it was a neat, um, neat neat learning experience. Put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we might do something fun. I don't know. I don't. I, 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 basically, what I planned for this Halloween was that for the full month of October, the art giveaway streams and stuff like that would be all um, Universal Monster themed. Um, this look of it being kind of ghostly um i kind of wanted all the pictures to kind of somewhat look the same but at the same time I'm trying something new but we'll see we'll see yeah elizabeth you've been talking about it for for a while learning how to how to stream this year congratulations i think uh, some of us are still still trying to learn how to stream <laughs> myself included <laughs> the back I kind of want it darker on this side um hmm. kind of almost need to like do the background to pop it out it's kind of my my idea And sometimes chat is the the fun part, right? Chatting with people and saying hello and connecting. Getting too tight. That's the problem. I need to get loose. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to see the see the chat on the TV. It's unfortunate. It'd be nice to have a window, like a, be able to actually have it crop in, so you could have chat on one side and stream on the other like have it or 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 at least have the, the chat have an overlay that you can overlays the, the corner of the stream
Oh, really? Oh, nice. You haven't, you haven't seen it for since 40 years ago, but the way to remember and pretty nice drawing. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. I, um, I'm trying to base it off of like, yeah, the original picture. Um, so I'm, but I'm doing kind of my own interpretation of it. So it's, Trying to see if uh... ah, I gotta figure out what I want to do here. Um, I think what I want to do is I need to I need to have base coat in there somehow so that I can. All hail Whoa. the new follower on Ten Elsa's follow. channel. 210, much love. Appreciate it. Welcome to the party. Yeah, I need to, I need to drop more um, more light here so that I can There's like uh, on the original, there's like a checkerboard pattern. But at the same time, I want to be able to kind of That's, that's, I find, like, I don't want to do a photorealistic drawing. I want to do just an impression. So, let me see. If I put in a light source, let me concentrate on that. Let's put in the light where I think the light would be falling on the lapel. Right? And think of it as, as in that regard. Not the pattern, but the, um, the light that's falling on the lapel. And that will get us a more realistic portrayal of what it, what it, what it looked like. Or the, the impression is what I mean. Like when you squint your eyes, it's there. Right? Like that's. We're not, we're not trying to do photo realism. It's not that we don't like it, it's just that we. Um, in the case of the, the time for the stream, and really it's kind of like with a lot of, of photorealism, it's, it shows great skill, and it's great exercises and stuff like that, um, but I also find it, you, it, it's not devoid of feeling, but it's kind of like, it might as well have been a picture, I don't know, or a photograph, um, it doesn't interest me. <laughs> I love photo photography, don't get me wrong. I do like photography. And there's some beautiful, sensual, emotional uh, photographs out there that I, I think what get my, gets my juices going on, on drawings is, is more of an emotion or feeling. Okay, so what we did... Oh, thank you, human. Much love. Appreciate that. I'm, as soon as I get to 500 there, I can actually start doing um, community polls and, and uh, various things on the channel that uh, you need 500 to be able to unlock the community's page. So I appreciate that. You're helping me get there. <laughs> okay. Got that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out the Copic markers. Uh, Copic markers are um, kind of a, a, a cool design pen. Um, but I've got some neutral grays here. So basically going from, what is it? 
neutral one, neutral eight, neutral four, neutrals two. Do I have any more? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what. Let's see what this looks like. So it's got a flat tip. Flat tip on one end. I'll show you there. Flat tip. And then we've also got a like a brush tip. I really like the brush tip. Um, you can see that it's it's very. Oh, you guys can't see that. Um, it's very easy to use. Kind of, kind of stays wet. It feels like a brush. Uh, easy to do some shading and stuff like that in. So I'm just gonna see what kind of sh shadows I'm gonna be able to get. That yeah, I need a dark. So I just right there. I know I need to go dark, guys. I need to go very dark for it to even show up. That's a good way to good, good way to think about it. I mean, the the soft soft pencils are easier to blend. Hard pencils are very hard to blend. So if you want a very very sharp line um, without it smudging or anything like that, then you would go switch it to a harder harder pencil. Uh, but if you want to blend stuff, then the softer pencil the more it will blend. I'm, I'm tending to mix mix my mediums up um, just because I actually like the interaction with them. Let's see what happens when I do that. Makes a nice... What I'm doing is basically there's a checkerboard pattern on the uh, the character. So I'm trying to follow, I gotta follow the fabric. Right. And what we're doing is getting kind of like a little checkerboard pattern as a result. We're freehanding it, we're not making it. Okay, cool. Cool. Came out alright. We're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing here. Um it sort of comes down to here and then goes to there, right? So I'll make that darker. Um Closer to you, so we're getting a little bit wider to them. And then we're going to go up as well. Now I'm going to take the other pencil. I'm just going to mix up some of the blending here. Not pencil, pen, I should say. Because we don't want it to be super prominent, but at the same time, the pattern's got to be there. 
I'm just fading it out again. Same thing on this side. I don't want some darkness happening there. Now I can go back in with a um, pencil crayon as well. Uh, of course I need to sharpen it. <laughs> don't! Please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. Now, the other thing too is, it's like, we've been doing color on every single drawing. We haven't done color on this one yet. And I'm kind of thinking I want to add color to it, guys. I, I really do. Um, I mean, black and white is great and all and stuff like that, but I, I, I kind of want to keep kind of the theme going. So I am going to switch it up and add some um, some color stuff to this as well. Um, starting with what? I don't know. Um, let's do, I have an idea. Let's do the coat. Let's lay down a color. What can we use? Kind of a purple-ish type thing. Be pretty subliminal. Coat. I mean, I'm right now putting purple on black. It's not really going to show up on stream, is it? It will. It will. appropriate thing that he'd be wearing. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll go to a lot more force screen. That's the color. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have. I'm gonna give him um, some green gloves. That'll be up here. I'm just gonna lay down a color. Actually, you know what? I think that these things should actually be green.
cool. bring out do I have you have some browns and stuff like that I think what we'll do is we'll go well, with the bandages we'll go a little bit with on the browner side a sec just trying to find um and also in the background I think um that's something what we should probably consider maybe doing you know, yellow or something like that. So, what's this going to look like? It's hard to see on stream, but there is a subtle difference. thinking what we should do is do something on the background. I don't want to have more... Like the light popping from the background, so... Ooh, what do I do? What do I do? Should I make it subtle? Should I make it harsh? Um, let's, let's use a cream. That's somewhere in the middle. Have a cream color. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we do. We have one on the paint pens. Should we try that? That's a bit bolder, but I can feather it out. I think. Let's experiment. Let's 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 test it over here. that sharp edge for sure. way I can show light passing through him, which I think is the key to showing a, a good invisible man, um, or a bad invisible man. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, cream, 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 cream. 
All right, give me one second, guys. I need to. I need to find. I'm not finding the right pen. That's all. You like how it's turning out? Cool. Uh, give me a sec. Pencils. Okay, I think I found a cream color. I found an actual pencil crayon that's cream, which is what I want. I know on the stream it kind of looks white. <laughs> I apologize for that. Elsa, I hope you like ice cream because you got one. Hey, King B, how you doing? Happy Halloween to you, brother. I mean, it's getting getting to that time, right? We're in the kind of final, getting to, to his final countdowns. <laughs> oh, thanks, buddy. Ah, this is what I wanted. Okay, I wanted a cream color. Cause I want to actually pop the head out of it. You're, you're a global partner here on, uh, on DLive. Do, do you know if there's a Halloween event coming? Has there been any talks about that or? You know as much as the partners do. <laughs> I was I was asking if uh, oh no worries I, I was asking if um, if there's gonna be a Halloween event this year if you've heard of any rumblings or anything like that about it um, just because I, I I figured you might have a have have a better idea as a global partner than a partner a verify partner. Yeah, there's only a couple days or a week left. <laughs> so maybe, hopefully, hopefully it might be this week. That doesn't make sense to do a Halloween event after the after Halloween. Or maybe it'll just be the the weekend, right? Because it Halloween I think falls on a Monday this year. It could be a Halloween weekend. other than slots, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I get why, I get why uh, like there's a lot of, of slot streamers coming to DLive now. Uh, and... Just kind of fade out a bit. Because uh, my hope, my plan was to basically have um, light kind of pass through the head. So I want to show light kind of coming through. Where we, we put a hole here, right? Got to just differentiate it from. Um, the background. So we'll add a little hole of light here and a hole of light there.
and then we'll feather the light out. What I can do is I can make some browns and stuff like that in it too, which would be kind of kind of neat. And I remember to draw on stream. Oh, jeez, keep pulling the paper down. Okay, so what's happening here though? going on there so the, the and then what's happening here too let's uh let's let's wipe this out because we need to pop we need to emphasize that there's a hand pulling it right i have it like there's light coming from his head <laughs> rest with the uh, pastel that way it will match just want to have some actual uh, light beams coming from this area here just give it a softer softer touch okay okay it's got that kind of like that era right the the era of like the rocketeer and and put a reflection on this on these uh eyeglasses or do you think that's a bit much lights coming from behind so they would be dark um and have a little bit of a not a, where the eye holes are oh humbling thanks man I'm using a cream color, which is the same as the background. Um, wondering if I, I kind of want to do like stitches, like you see the fibers of the. Kind of hard to do though. Kind of suggest it with um, a little bit of strokes. Look at, I need to sharpen my pencil again, my God. But doing backgrounds really, really takes your uh, pencil down. <laughs> That's why I switched to pastels, right? Frames, the frames have a bit of gold in it. Um, I what, like, what if I use the gold? <laughs> I don't know if I uh, got... What, we, what will a metallic look like on camera, though? Curious. I'll grab a gold, um, got a gold pencil crown. I'm really curious what it would look like if I put gold on it. What does it look like on stream? Let's take a look. Kind of reads as brown. 
right? Kind of reads as a as a as a brown. Not bad. Some gold rims. Definitely interesting. Okay. Decisions, decisions. Oh, thanks, MD. Um, not exactly happy with the background just yet. Um, I think the, uh, the coat needs a bit of uh, love as well. I can put a little bit of this background color on the coat. Make it tie in a bit. Also too, I think we need some we need some better light happening here on the um need some better light on this uh, bandage here. Hey Eric! Oh thanks Eric! I appreciate you doing that. Thank you so much. here I mean the, the thumb would probably be in darkness but oh great I always thought church was on um, Sundays but there was there an event did you get did you have like an event at church So good. Uh, the shadow. Let's get some. Uh, let's play. Let's play some. Let's do something here. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna show these as bandages. I want the red to look like bandages. And I want to. Emphasize this as being different than the sunglasses. So, by doing that, then we're going to go back in with our... Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't do the brim of the... Uh, oh, you're doing Bible study. Got it. Hey, how you doing, Pablo? Welcome back. A little bit more of a shadow here. The eyeglasses. Shadow underneath each one really makes them feel like they're wrapped around at least something. Ooh, okay. Can't believe Halloween is like only what? 
It's the 19th. Oh my gosh, there's not much time left. There's not much time left. Snazzy looking jacket, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually from the uh, original film. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just it's just it's annoying, isn't it, Eric? Um, yeah, I just find if if you you just block them. Right? Like it's just, it, it's clearly just a bot account. It's not a real person. It's to make their ad numbers look good. A little bit of purple in here. And then we're going to get wild and crazy. <laughs> Add a little bit of... Yellow highlights. Yeah, I've 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 used oil pastels before. Um, it's just not it's not my preferred medium. Um, but I thought you did uh, some really good stuff. I'd like to see you continue continue to use it. Uh, if you guys are wondering in chat, uh, I have on my Discord a uh, place where you can post artwork, um, whether artwork you find that is really cool that you find fascinating or artwork that's of your own uh you can post it there as well um as well as i do i have an art gallery of my stuff that everything i've drawn on stream before uh is is uh listed there um and there are a couple things there that are available to purchase too Sharp. We need to emphasize where the uh, highlights are on the on the glasses. Right on the rim too. It should be a nice little highlight. We need to spotlight it a bit. Take the uh, the beige that we have. I'm going to do um, some light here. In beige. Let's see where do we want it here. Light.
Yeah, it's Wednesdays and when and Mondays are really hard for Superstar. She's um she's got a really long, long work day. Um and you know, she used to be able to be home during the COVID and stuff like that, but not anymore. Um and I miss her too, Eric. <laughs> Um, and a lot of times on the weekends, she's been really tired. So, like, being able to stream with her has been, uh, been harder and harder to, to do. You understand. Like, she just wants to re relax and stuff like that. And, uh, just oftentimes, she'll, she'll play some games and stuff like that, but she doesn't really want to be, um, on stream. And also with recently, with, with backup and stuff like that, it's been really hard. So... I can't push her. I gotta. I gotta wait till she's full again to do it. it again with um that's a crown it should be okay just wanted to differentiate this a little bit more you have his pillow my pillow that here's a compliment um yeah we're, we're, i've been doing um universal monsters all this month every wednesday we've been drawing um some different different monsters from uh universal pictures and this is uh yes the invisible man it's kind of tough to draw the invisible man <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> some highlights where we want them. Yep, you know it. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you if you uh, if you want to see a full gallery of all the, the drawings we've done, um, you can follow, of course, I've got a Facebook page. I've also got Discord with a gallery there. Um, yeah, there's, a, there's, there's a, a fair bit of drawings we've done on the channel so far. Woo! All that info is in my About section, of course. Okay, let's see. We've got this. We've got this. This, this one's got a little bit of light, this as well. And then we're gonna go over that. This is gonna be the glove on that side. This is light from here, so we're gonna do that too. And we need to feather that out a bit more, because, um, so let's take a, what was it? we were using a brown, weren't we? I think so, I think so. All hail the new follower hey, on Elsa's channel. Button. Much love. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for joining the party. Appreciate it. Big time.
are so good. How was Overwatch the other night? We were we I, we started doing better. We started doing better. It's been it's been a, a wild ride though. Overwatch is one of those games that really makes you know when you when you screwed up. <laughs> you pay for the price. But yeah, um, just needs, it's just more practice, right? More practice playing as a team. Um, more practice communicating and all that stuff. Yeah, Slider's, Slider was uh, actually enjoying himself and, and really enjoying the game. He was enjoying the gameplay. Even though we were getting our butts kicked at certain points, he was like, you know what? This is making me want to get better. Um, you know, and it's, it's challenging. It's good. I'm gonna do like brown shades, what do you think? Brown tinted glasses. Nice. Yeah, he was able to tolerate me. That's a that's a test right there. <laughs> that can be a I can be a, a hassle to or challenge the game with. I get emotional. <laughs> All right. Green gloves to match his green checkerboard lapel. I always need to sharpen my pencil. Pretty sure I'm gonna have no pencil left. <laughs> I like having these cross hedges. It makes it look like stitching. Cool. I'll give you I'll give you what I'm talking about. See how like there's like a little bit of stitching lines. Accidents, as we call them, right? So I think I think what what's needed here is a little bit more, a little bit more beige. You were testing the whisper on Twitch. What's the whisper on Twitch?
start with lions. Oh, gotcha. Whisper. Chat room. Got it. Fair enough. I thought it was like a alert command or something like that. You were talking about. Hey, Mythic Rex. How you doing? Doing some uh, more universal monster stuff. The whole month. Trying to get this highlight right. Oh, they they were beta testing it. Oh yeah. downstairs ever since you streamed on Twitch. The channels where you in, dude. <laughs> Too many pull streams, right? <laughs> oh, this, is, this is bleeding a bit. Okay. I need to do... Ah, it's leaking. Let me let me use my finger and mess it up. There we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, that pen is not trusting enough. I need to switch to a different pen. My top motor just got herpes. Twitch is all over the place, isn't it? It's, it? It used to be a gaming platform. Like, man. Let's do some uh, some holes for the for the button. Crabs ain't too bad. Tasty. A little bit of garlic and butter. Actually, good crab, you don't need anything. If it, you know it's a good crab when you don't need garlic, you don't need butter, you can just eat the crab by itself. That is a fresh and delicious crab. <laughs> Hold on, wait a second, I need other. You get that grub. <laughs> All right, let me um try this one more time. Just want a little bit of a highlight there. Okay. Wouldn't you get crab in your beard? Uh, you got me confused with dwarves. <laughs> Shout out to all the dwar dwar dwarves out there. <laughs> what does jumbo shrimp mean? It's self-contradictory. Hmm. Throwing those throwing those uh, twisters out there. Cause you got oh, one. much love, dude. Thank you for the uncommon drop. Put that on the back of the pen so I don't actually I end up losing it. I'm like, where is it? 
Yeah, it's cool. It's always nice to. It's always a pleasure to have have a visit. <laughs> always. No matter like it doesn't matter the length of time. It's just you know dropping by, saying hi. It's all cool. Um. I don't know. I might. You know. I, I can't show your code. My growth on 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 D Live is pretty much at a standstill. <laughs> so, I've uh, I've been um, I've I I always record like every hundred followers and blah 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 and all that kind of stuff. And it's like it's been it's been just just hard and difficult. But uh, it's not. I mean, it is. It, it, it's not a race. You get there when you get there, right? Change your name to King Brew Fifty Five. <laughs> All right, a little bit more highlights there. That's cool. Oh gosh, no worries, fueling much love. It's three in the morning there, my goodness. Well, I, listen, thank you for hanging out today. Thank you for joining the channel today too. I much love. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, yeah, make sure to make sure to, to claim your drawing in in the Discord, and uh, I'll get that out to you ASAP. Much love. Never gonna be satisfied with this freaking highlight. Okay, <laughs> I keep going back and forth on it. Okay, so what I what I want to do is I want to grab some pastel. Where's my pastels? They're there. They're over there. Ah, uh, much love. Let's go with a. Let's see what we do. Brown, brown. I think would be kind of a, a way to go. So good. We can make that glow in a bit by um let's go. Will this work? Let's see. We got very little left of this. <laughs> like a more of a, a cream color. We're gonna mix it with our pastel. We just want that kind of subtle subtle glow coming from the back here. Then we want to showcase light passing through. So that's the only way we could show an invisible man, I think. All right. Now, what we can do. Ah, oh, honey girl, much love. Invisible sex toy. It's quite effective. It's, it's your imagination. <laughs> I 
this. Alright, let me uh Jackie knows. Time-wise, too. Oh, we're coming up on it. Okay. Doing what I want. Okay. Ooh. Is this going to be forward? I'm going to do. A bit of extra highlight here on the actual bandage. That cat, dude. <laughs> Somersaulting cats. A different feeling than the other pictures, but I did approach it in a different way. Oh, thanks. Steph. Hey, right, good to see you, Stephanie Thompson. How you doing? How you doing, Steph? Welcome to the stream. Yuck. Pablo, you don't like duck? Duck is tasty. <laughs> oh, you, you digging the music, Eric? Nice. It's very, it's very uh space, space-like, right? You only had duck once, never again. Well, Pablo, I, I'll, I'll share my philosophy. You should always give a give it give a try. I would I would say try some, everything twice, and the reason why is because the first time it may have not been cooked properly. Um, good duck is amazing. Good duck, like whether it's barbecue duck or curry duck or um, you know, it, it can be it can be it's all it depends on how, you know. How fatty the animal is, and if it's cooked right. Um, but duck is duck is amazing. It can be cooked. It, it can also taste bad. Um, but you know that's my philosophy with I know the subject of pineapple pizza, right? Pineapple pizza can be amazing, and it can be also gross. <laughs> Osa duck. Oof. Oh, Osa duck in the house. Yeah, hundred percent. 
No, no, we're not trying to hurt ducks. It's just sometimes they're good eating. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, listen, ducks, ducks live a natural life. And then... Also, people got to eat. <laughs> if it's fresh pineapple. I'll let Darkwing know about this. Darkwing Duck. If you, if you have a duck as a pet or something like that, I can see how you'd be very against anybody eating duck. Hey, I'm, I'm tr I try to fit in. Like, I, I do my, my part with the... Uh, I've got my um, uh, wheel that I do when I do my art giveaways, right? So, like, I'll show you. Like, I can fit in with, with everybody, right? See, look, look. I, it's gambling. It's gambling. I, I, <laughs> I'm just joking around. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Hey, is anybody playing that uh, that new um, that that new game that just came out that has uh, rats in it? What was it called? I forget what it was called. Uh, I've always been meaning to play the first one too. Are you are are you playing it? Nice. Plague sale. That's it. That's it. Thank you, Russ. Man, it was on the tip of my tongue, and I was like, oh, I can't remember. Oh, the new Ghostbusters game's coming out, too. My gosh. Oh, my God. It's like holding your little brother's hand simulator. Oh, is it like Brothers? There's that game Brothers as well. Um... But it's not co-op, right? Like, it's just a single-player game. Okay. I think that's... Yeah, the only new game I'm going to be playing, I guess, is uh, the new God of War Ragnarok. When that comes out. That's what I'll be. Um, I typically don't play games on release. Um, it's fine. I find the optimal experience is after it's had a few patches. But with God of War Ragnarok, I have to make that exception, right? Like it's it's. Um, so we'll definitely be playing that on the channel. such a good time playing that first game. Eric, you take it off. No worries, Eric. Much love. Thank you for hanging out. And uh, keep doing those drawings, man. You're doing you're, you're improving every time. Honestly, keep going. I love what I'm seeing. Uh, I think you have a real, real future with oil pastels too. Keep, keep practicing on that.
uh, you got, I got a split like banana. <laughs> like a banana. He throws in a joke too as he goes. My goodness. <laughs> All right. Well, not bad, not bad for two hours. Hey, guys, like we uh, we did this one in two hours and then the one we did before. I'll show that one. It's still drying over here, but. When we did, uh, before we did a, um, Creature from the Back Lagoon, uh, this was won by a new person to the channel, which was awesome to see. Um, and now we've got the, uh, Invisible Man, which, uh, somebody gave me the idea to do it. Uh, I can't remember which week it was, but, um, I thought it would be a challenging thing to do. You know me. I'm all about the challenges, right, guys? <laughs> but heck, man. Right now, life is just a challenge. Feeding yourself is a challenge, right? Like, it's... it's it's, it's, it's get, It seems like it's getting harder and harder, and it's... Alright, let that dry a bit. Uh, Stephanie, I don't know if you're still here in chat. Um, I just got my uh, my envelopes today. So I'm going to be sending out those uh, those artworks in the next uh, day or so. Probably, I'll try and get it in, in the mail either tomorrow or the next day. And, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when, when, uh, when your pictures are on, on the way. But the final, yeah, so the, what they are, guys, is they're protective envelopes that I, um, that I, oh, okay, I I, uh, I particularly ordered just because I mail a lot of the art flat. I don't want them bolded or bended in any way or rolled, right? So, um, and some of the some of the envelopes you get, they're just too flimsy, so. Um, but the problem is, is those envelopes were on back order for a while and it was driving me crazy because it was like, uh, it took forever. So I finally got them. I'll let everybody know in the Discord too. Okay. Is there anything else we want to do to this? Do we, do we tighten up the... Time-wise, we are pretty much at that limit. What this is basically took two hours to do. I do have to clip, uh, make a clip though, because I generally like keeping a record of uh, the drawings we've done on the stream. So give me a sec, I'll make, clean my messy ass desk. Um, I'm gonna put this over here. I'll grab this guy. Oh, oh no, I just spilled, spilled trimmings all over the place. I made a mess. I'll clean it up later. Screw it. <laughs> Dang it. All right, let me do that. <laughs> that over there oh man i need to i need it's it's i need this is why i need my dice guys i need my metal dice keep my uh keep my drawing straight <laughs> oh man okay uh well guys thank you so much for the universal monster stream week three we've uh we did the creature from the black lagoon and this was one by a new person that joined the channel today, which was, that was so cool to see. And then we've also got the Invisible Man. That's right. So we did one drawing to give away this week and we did one drawing to support the stream. This drawing will be available uh, on the Discord, uh, in the Adventures and Legends Discord. Uh, I'll get that up soon. Uh, much love guys. Thank you so much. Uh, I am going to uh, quickly clip this, hold on. <laughs> So apologize if you're gonna hear it running back at you.
you so much for the monster stream. Or thank you so much for the universal monster stream. Weekly. I made it big. I don't want to make it big. You're the you're the invisible man. Hey, hold on, one second. Oh my gosh. Alright. Do that. And then uh, we'll call it uh, Universal Monsters Week 3, right guys? that in chat boom done yay all right i published that in the uh in the in, in the d live channel perfect awesome oh wow okay um yeah guys everybody everybody be safe uh, i will be what in terms of streaming future and stuff like that what's going on um I don't know at this point. My weekend is pretty slam packed with stuff. So um, if I can, I will try to get on this weekend. Um, uh, you love the texture in the lapels? Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's actually from the from the actual original movie. Um, I, I'm guessing if it was green, but it, it, it's black and white to me. But it's I, I figured green and purple. That's very kind of crazy Joker style, right? Like that's the that's because he goes insane. When he gets the uh, the stuff that makes him invisible, he goes absolutely insane. <laughs> oh gosh! Thank you guys so much. Uh, appreciate the donations, guys. Thank you so much. I will be, um, you know, oh man, saying goodbye is always awkward. Let me let me let me just say this: May all your hits be criticals and your adventures be legendary. And I will see you guys, of course, on the next one. <laughs> much love. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to host a channel. Give me, give me one quick second. Um, I do need to, uh, to set up a host. This my problem is my, I don't think the commands work, so I got to do it a different way. Um, cause we got, you know, we got our people in chat. Let's not, let's not just waste that. Let's, um, let's throw somebody a host. Who needs a hosty host? Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Who's here? Um, is anybody playing that game? No. Okay. All right. Well then, I'll you know I'll throw I'll throw it to throw it to a channel here. Give me a second. Um, do do do. I'll get that all lined up. All right, guys. Much love. Until next time, take care, everybody.